Hello there, I'm Shannon Gregory of Microcell Sciences. We do live and layered blood cell microscopy. Today's video is going to be about metals and the periodic table of elements that we are exposed to on a day-to-day -day basis from our environment. I wanted to go over some of our findings that we do see in the live blood cell in regards to metals. Live blood can uh, determine and dictate certain types of metals in the system. It looks really peculiar in the blood where it looks very spiky because what happens is in the red blood cells, as metals such as mercury, lead, aluminum, things like that, pass through the bloodstream or you've ingested from whatever it may be, what happens is, is it dries the bilayer of the cell out. So I'm going to show you a little image of what live blood cell would look like. And this is what a metal will look like in live blood cell. And see how it looks very spiky, like it would cut you almost. This one, knowing from testing, is more of mercury. Mercury is very much, um, we're exposed through, through food, through water, through our environment. Mercury actually is in our environment and we are breathing it in. It's, we're absorbing it all the time. So mercury is one of the periodic table of elements that I do see very, very frequently when I run more diagnostics because what we do here and what I do is I can say that I'm seeing this such as metals, parasites, things like that, but I want more science to prove it. So what we often will do is urine tests to ensure um, of the type of elements that we are seeing in the blood so we can mainstream our clients and refer them or address the specific pathogen or the specific element that we have in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through what a urine test would look like for metals. We do carry a heavy metal urine test. Um, this is amazing for me because it enables me to screen using patient's urine and say, okay, I think I'm seeing metals here. Let's screen your urine. Let's do some chemistry and see what that urine test entails. So I'm going to show you first of all what that looks like and how to do this test and then there will be what it colors it changes depending on the type of metals that we are exposed to or we do have living in our tissues. What actually happens with metals is, is it does reside in our hair follicles and our tissues. And that's where, in a lot of circumstances, we urinate out metals. In a lot of circumstances, a hair test can be very, very effective to find metals because it's living in our tissues. And as our hair grows out of our tissues, it picks up on some of these elements. So here's the heavy metal test. And this would be a first thing I'd do if I was seeing something metal in somebody's blood. So this comes with a whole kit. You can always contact us if you would like just the metal test sent to you. We can certainly uh, send the metal test to you. It's not an expensive test. It's about $30, so it's very, very effective. We are looking to see if we are seeing what colors do come up here in the testing to know what type of metals we are exposed to. It comes with a um, test tube. We're gonna get this serum and get this all ready. And we're gonna suck that up. Then we're gonna put this in the test tube. Perfect. Close that up. And then what we need to do is we need to activate it, okay? So just like anything chemistry, you need to activate it and movement in this circumstance is how to activate it. So from this point, I have a patient's urine here and I'm going to, again, add to our test tube. So there's a certain amount we need in here, which it tells you on the instructions how much is needed. But this is just such an incredible way for me to know how much, let's say, mercury or aluminum is in the client's blood 
or tissues. And not only that, it gives me a good idea to be able to, as I refer them to naturopaths or we do cleansing, it enables me to know where I'm at in that whole protocol. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And you'll see, we're gonna show you an image of after it's complete, um, and it'll go either orange or pink or yellow. Not sure what we're gonna get from this as I'm doing the test with you, but we'll find out at the end. So as I go a little bit more and talking about metals and exposure to metals, is we also run numerous types of hair tests. So again, you know, there's lots of people that see me that want ultimate health. And this is where to get the ultimate health, it's amazing to look at the live blood cell, but at the same standpoint, it's fantastic to look at what a hair test will give us. So this gives us a snapshot of their periodic table of elements. Now, in this individual's case, this person is showing unacceptable higher levels of mercury. This individual is also showing higher unacceptable levels of barium. It does give us a really superb snapshot of some of the other main cofactor and structurals, but today's video, we're focusing on more metals. Now, it's really interesting because we are exposed to these different metals from certain things. For instance, mercury is environmental. Lead can be very job-based. Um, aluminum can come from our foods and canned foods and things like that and barium, um, I think it can also come from foods. So this is one hair test of an individual that we are showing that is in high mercury levels that we need to address. This is another hair test that we're seeing here. And this individual hits very low for a lot of the major components, but hit extremely high for aluminum almost to the point where they're off the charts of the test. Now, aluminum having this high amount is a concern because this creates dementia. This creates um, Parkinson's. Aluminum can create a lot of brain debilitating issues. So this is something we need to reduce that amount. It also matters again, the structural and the cofactor, what we have to how we're going to detox this aluminum out of the body. But this is a process. And a lot of the time we do refer to naturopathic doctors for what we call chelation. Because sometimes the metals are so deep in the individual system or have been there for so long that we need to chelate. Metals is definitely something that we want to always be looking for because environmentally we're exposed to them in such severe amounts. Really good effective things that you can do to be proactive about metals is number one, liquid chlorophyll. You can get this at any health food store and I would suggest putting 10 drops in about eight ounces of water or 500 milliliters of water, and then you sip that as the day goes on. Very much like plants, we need chlorophyll in our body, and this enables us to detox metals. Chlorophyll also alkalines the body so that our body is not as acidic. And when our body is too acidic, that means disease, cancer, things like that can grow more frequently in the body. Like this video, we'd be really happy. Subscribe to the channel and we'd love to see you viewing some more of our other videos.